Okay, uh, um, what I'm going to do is uh, make a short video here converting the uh, deep water culture, which has never worked out real well for us. We just never totally utilized it or had a, a whole lot of luck with it. That's my assistant, David. Uh, he is catching tadpoles, doing a good job of it. Anyway, if you're familiar with my videos, you remember seeing my, uh, my towers that I used uh, originally for strawberries and then I put lettuce in them and, and they did, uh, the lettuce did real well. Strawberries did all right. But uh, it's really a limited growing system. So what I've done is removed the rafts there they are sitting up against the house over there and uh, I've taken the the towers down I took the uh, I guess you would call it the uh, the NFT or the tubing that went across the bottom and I laid that right down the center here and that's what I'll use to deliver my water uh, to the wicking bed. We're going to make this whole thing, it's going to be a 4 by 18 wicking bed. I'll take a section of one of these pipes that are still hanging and insert it right here on the end. Uh, and that'll be, that'll be my upright. That's where I will uh, pour the aquaponic water into the wicking bed. And then the rest of these pipes I'm just laying in there. Uh, partially to uh, to deliver the water uh, equally throughout the, uh, the, the the gravel or uh, or crushed rock I'm going to use crushed concrete I believe down below there uh, below the wicking bed David is fixing to get out of the, the uh, out of the water now because he has been told get out of the water David very good. See how well he mines. Anyway, uh, so I'll put a drain on the other end, and uh, I'll make another video as we go. But uh, that's what's happening this weekend: turning the deep water culture into a wicking bed. <laughs> 